Hi guys and welcome back to yet another Magic Awakened video. We are gonna do this season event called the Black Lady Lullaby Chapter 1 Into the Black. A special defense against the Dark Arts class by the Black Lady stirs up a murky mystery. Let's see what this is all about. Where are we heading? The Black Lake is calling you. Will you heed its siren song? Dark waters hide many mysteries and magical beasts as well. Do you dare descend into the depths? We will see. Hello everyone! I'm so excited for our very first Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson by the lake. <laughs> by the lake? What about you, Daniel? Sure, it's cold, damp and soggy. What's not to like? Oh, quit complaining, Daniel. At least we're not spending the afternoon in a stuffy classroom. What do you think Professor Brindlemore has in store for us? Honestly, I don't care. As long as it doesn't involve me getting wet. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Page. Because learning the proper defense against most aquatic menaces requires testing the waters, so to speak. We haven't seen Is her everyone face yet. here? Good. Let's begin. You can kind of see the face, though. It's mostly a shadow. Today will be the first in a series of lessons on defending oneself against dangerous underwater creatures. Our very own Black Lake is home to many such beasts, some more menacing than others. Can anyone give me an example? The giant squid? Yes, we have our very own Archytoothis ducks, although it's rather elusive and not particularly threatening despite its impressive size. What else might we find? <laughs> I heard there was fish folk down there. If you're referring to the mer people, then yes. A tribe of Selkies do make the Black Lake their home. Despite what you may have heard, however, they are not a threat so long as you treat them with respect. I really like uh, her voice. It's very. And anyone else? Perhaps something a bit smaller Enchanting. and troublesome. It's right behind you, so I would say Grindelo. Oh, I know! A Grindelo! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes, very good. Meet our resident water demon, the Grindelo. A water demon. Certainly. This little beastie might not look like much, but beneath the surface they're rather nasty, especially when a horde of them descends on you. Look at all those teeth! Yes, best to avoid getting bitten, Unless you fancy a visit to the matron. The good news is Grindylows are quite thin-skinned. Thus, a well-aimed revulsion jinx will cause them to loosen their grip. But Grindylows only live underwater, right? So we should be fine if we stay out of the lake. Oh dear, Mr. Page. I'm afraid you're not going to like our next lesson. Not one bit. Mm -mm. You don't... Do you mean that we are heading... No, we are not. Okay, so I changed my outfit. I don't know if you guys, like, if this ruins the immersion or anything, but I changed the outfit to something I have won during the, all the events that I played. I hope it's, it's fine. Uh, I think it might be more immersive if I constantly have the same outfit. I'm not sure. haven't gotten any feedback back on it. So, for now, I'm just showing off my outfits. Come on. Those bubbles are disappearing way too fast. Am I supposed to have time to read them? Swimming in the lake? Is she mad? Oh, she said that? Don't tell me you never learned to swim, Daniel. I guess she hinted on it and he... Of course smart. I know how to swim. But that doesn't mean I want to jump in the black lake. I'm not a fish. I wouldn't want to swim there either. I thought maybe you were afraid to get your hair wet. Do you know how long it takes to dry this mop? It's a money <laughs> series. Okay, it's well, that I think and... Professor Brindlemore's yeah. idea is brilliant. It's Why, a whole though? other world beneath the surface. I can't wait to see a mer person. Yeah, of course, but it's also dangerous. So it's like, come you on. You know they're not the most friendly lot, right? I heard one of them tried to drown a first year just last month. Really? I heard he got tangled in seagrass after chasing a pet toad. Pet toad? Whatever. I suppose you're thrilled about all this, yeah? It's not Harry, right? No, it's not. 
What am I saying? This is the future. I'm stupid. Hogwarts Mystery is back in the day. Oh, this is why you shouldn't play two Harry Potter games at the same time when the other is in the future, forward in time, and the other is behind Harry's story. Excited but nervous. It's exciting, yes, but do we even know what lives in the lake? That's what I'm saying. There could be anything down there. <sighs> Still, I'm sure it's going to be quite a proper adventure. Music from outside the pub draws your attention. What's that? To know. Sounds like music. Ah! Ah! It's him again, the bloody street musician. He's been here all week. Such a racket. I think it's quite lovely. Yeah, it's not bad. Shall we go have a listen then? Mm-hmm. Let's go. She doesn't like it, but we are interested. Let's see who this person is. Where are you? Is it gonna be a person we we know of, or oh? At least it's like I don't know traditional music like it's cozy it's good it's cozy for a village like i like this one no not the player talking to a question mark that was amazing thanks i'm glad someone enjoyed it how do you play so many instruments at once well magic lots of practice and a bit of magic of course yeah. So, these are just enchanted instruments, right? That's right. But I'm still playing each instrument. Just not touching them with my fingers. It's more difficult than it looks. Don't mind Daniel. He's always hunting for a trick to everything. I'm Ivy, by the way, and this is my friend. Nice to meet you all. Name's Calliope, but you can call me Cal. You're students, aren't you? I went to Hogwarts myself. Really? Did you study music? Not at all. Played a few socials, sang in the frog choir, but that's about it. On the road is where I truly learned to play. But you're so good. You must have traveled everywhere. I've played in more villages than I can count. But then being a fan of music also means listening. Everyone has a song to share, often something special from their past. I love to hear them all. My mom used to sing to me when I was little. There was this one song about moon calves that always put me right to sleep. Ooh, the, uh, a song about moon calves. I would like to hear that a one. A moon calf lullaby? I'd love to hear it. Yeah, same. What? You want me to sing? I can't even carry a tune. Doesn't matter. A beautiful song is beautiful no matter how it's sung. Yeah, but you haven't heard me sing. Besides, everyone loves your music. I wish that were true. Let's just say the response in Hogsmeade has been... Such a racket. Everyone is saying the same thing. I wonder what uh, Aberforth thinks about the music. Well, let's call it mixed. He's standing just beside us, so maybe yes. Clearly, they don't have an ear for great an music. Opinion. You're very kind, but I'm afraid there aren't enough young ears like yours to keep me here. Then you should come to Hogwarts. You could play a show for us. That would be lovely, but I seem to recall the professors aren't too keen on strangers showing up at the front gate. Yeah, of course, but maybe you can like talk to the teacher when they are in in the village. But you're not a stranger. I'm sure they'll remember you. Yeah, you went to the school. Hmm. Mr. Filch certainly will. He was not a fan of my impromptu performances. I think he still has my favorite gob iron stuffed in a drawer somewhere. Filch doesn't like anyone, especially not the students. I suppose Professor Flitwick might remember me. He's quite a fan of music. Perfect. I'll ask him. All right. Thanks. Perhaps I'll get a chance to hear a few more songs before I move on after all. Yeah, Flitwick, um, he leads the choir. So I can understand that statement. Okay, head to the castle main tower. Let's go. So when I'm recording this, all of the chapters are released. So you won't be getting like a split up video like you did before. Uh, it's because I had to wait because I've been so busy with work. I've been too tired. I'm even tired now, but I wanted to record so badly. And the uh, time is running out for this event. 
Hurry up, or we're gonna be late for class. But I'm enjoying it very much so Sorry, far. I was just talking to Professor Blitwick about Cal. The, se the season event quests are really enjoyable, so I really like recording these. Oh, did you remember him? Yes, apparently Cal left quite an impression. Good or bad? Good. Professor Blitwick loved his music. Cal even convinced him to sing a few songs himself, which he said he never does. Uh, if I have to sing in front of everyone. The professor said he'd ask the headmistress about allowing Cal to perform. Isn't that great? Wonderful. Now come on, let's get this over with. Oh, I thought we were going to the library, but no. We go into the Black Lake. Because it's time to, I guess, dive into it. Holy macaroni. Do my robes smell like stink? No, they do not smell like stink bombs. That was quite a loud voice, for sure. Who here can breathe underwater? Anyone? No, of course not. Does anyone know how to remedy that? A bubblehead charm. Very good, Mr. Page. A bubble head charm will provide a pocket of air from which to breathe for a short period of time. What else? Didn't we use that spell when we were protecting ourselves from, like, some kind of poison mi mist <clears throat> from an event? Gillyweed, of course. Quite right, Miss Vole. Gillyweed not only allows you to breathe underwater, it also provides webbed feet and hands to make you a more effective swimmer. Anyone else? I would say Gillyweed is superior. Nicely done. It is indeed possible to partially transfigure oneself into, say, a shark and successfully navigate the depths. I would suggest this option only for those who excel in transfiguration, however, as the transformation can be challenging. Will we be able to talk to each other underwater? No, you'll need to use hand signals. And before you ask, yes, your ones will work underwater. Just speak the incantation normally. <laughs> Might sound a little strange, but your one will understand. Uh... <laughs> so you mean open? We're supposed to open our mouth underwater. Come, or you come, say it in everyone into the lake. Your assignment is as follows. Swim to the bottom and retrieve a marker, like this one. Okay, Harry, Harry did actually say the spells out loud in the water, so she probably means that way. Okay. You'll find them hidden amongst the rocks and ruins on either side of the tall seagrass. Grindylo are also quite common in this area, so be careful and work together. The first to return with a marker will receive top marks. What about a prize? Professor Slughorn sometimes gives out rewards for the best potions. I would hope passing class is reward enough, Mr. Page. No, it's not. Worth a shot. Huh? So, Chimberly, how do you plan to approach this? Well, I guess that's my only option. Oh god. That animation. We're jumping in the water. How will, the, how will this all look? This Ooh. is amazing! Look at all the fish! I don't know what Daniel was worried about. This is fun! It's beautiful. Was that a giant tentacle? Maybe I should find a marker and get back. Oh, cool! This is really cool! Wow! I'm impressed! There's another player over there. Inspect. A shell with something in it. Uh, this is like... Just a wow. I wonder if we can go into the lake after this class. Or if it's just possible during this. Oh, it got dark. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Virgil, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm like, no. Uh... I suppose you're looking for one of those markers the professor hid. Oh, come on. Uh... I might know where one is. I could show you if you like. Follow me. Oh god, what?
Where's the hand under there? Oh, someone's trapped beneath the ruins. I need to find a way in. Hmm. There must be an entrance somewhere. Ah. There. That looks like a way in. Okay. Well, that's worrying that someone is trapped under it. Oh. Okay, try to talk to them. You can try, but the only one who can actually talk to them is a Dumbledore. Uh... But someone is trapped. Oh God. Don't understand me. Wait, I know the hand. I could show them. I know there is a similar quest about oh, mer people. No, it's gone. Oh well, it's kind of good that it's gone. It's kind of a similar quest uh, about the mer people and Hogwarts mystery as well. <laughs> there must be a way down. Perhaps the mer, mer people knows what to do. Yeah, but you can't really communicate with them. Not knowing a single word of Merm is your awkwardly gesture at the Mer people. Ah, uh, why? It should be that I'm clicking away when I wanted to disappear. I didn't have time to read. <gasps> it's one of those, Kelpie. Grindelos won't stop you, but the Mer people just might. How do you explain that you mean no harm when no one speaks the language? Perhaps the answer lies in a song. Maybe. Well, someone did know the language. Sadly, it's no longer with us. Time for chapter 2. Kelpie Chaos. Someone is trapped at the bottom of the Black Lake, but no one believes it except you. What's it all a dream? Well, what will you do to prove you're right? Will you dive in alone? I don't know. Maybe Ivy So, will did you come. find out anything? Sorry, no students are unaccounted for. We asked around Hogsmeade, too. No one's been reported missing, not in the last month anyway. What about the wand I found? Somebody must have lost it. Yeah, what's it beside the hand? Possibly. Or someone lost it years ago. It didn't look old. And weirdly, there was something familiar about it. Like I've seen it before. Are you sure no one's missing? Pretty sure. You don't actually want someone to be stuck at the bottom of the lake, do you? No. No, of course not. It's just... Everyone thinks I made it up. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? According to Cassandra, it's because I crave attention. That's rich coming from her. Are you sure it wasn't Moaning Myrtle? You said she tried to scare you. Or maybe it was one of the Myrtle people messing around. I think I can see the difference between a ghost hand and a, like a living person's hand. No, like Daniel, a I human touched hand. it. It was definitely a human hand. I'm you sure touched of it. it? I didn't see that. Okay, okay, I believe you. So, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, we'll look for the next, next time we're in the lake, lesson. I'll look again. I just hope it's not too late. Well, before you go doing anything rash, come with us. We have something that might cheer you up. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a intense sight to see like a hand underwater that might just be like a a, a body. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see what will share us up. Oh yeah, him. Cal, I'm so happy to see you. I knew they'd let you come. Because you for putting a good word for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Does that mean you're going to do a show? Well, I am. Professor Flitwick invited me to join the Frog Choir for a special performance. And there's also some kind of a social club that wants me to play a song or two. <laughs> oh, the dance club. Really? I might actually have to attend for once. <laughs> Daniel Page at a social event? Someone alert the Daily Prophet! <laughs> ha ha. Don't get used to it, Ivy. This is a special occasion. Let me just say how, like, impressed I am by the dialogue. It has improved so much. I just love the chemistry and the what characters. What are you going to play? Do you have songs picked out? I didn't know I would enjoy the story of this game this much. It, uh, I just gotta say that. Not yet. I have a few options. Would you like to hear one? Yes! Is it gonna be a cutscene of the song? Yeah. No, we faded out. Why? I wanted to hear more. Oh, they're listening too. That was so fun! 
fun. I still can't fathom how you learned to play so many instruments. Oh, I played a lot of wrong notes before I knew what I was doing. It just takes time and patience. <laughs> you can see the mer pupils here in the background. Well, it all sounds lovely, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Oh. Look. Tim Lucy is Ah, yes. Mer people. They're quite fond of music. Oh, Jesus. That splash I didn't know that. Sound. It's true. They have amazing voices, too. Although they're usually a bit shy. Have you ever talked to them? Not really. I don't speak Mermish, and trying to make sense of all that screeching, especially above water, is next to impossible. But if I needed them to confirm something that happened underwater, do you think they'd help? Hmm. They do know everything that goes on beneath the surface. But... I don't know. But then, I'm not an expert. Neither am I. But I know who is. Maybe we can go to Dumbledore's portrait and talk to him. No? Wouldn't that be a thing we could do? Oh, defense against the dark arts. Hey. Okay. Why? You want oh. to talk to the Mer people? What on earth for? I think it would have been more fun, but I guess Dumbledore couldn't talk to them through a painting. They were there when I found the wand and touched the hand. They must have seen something. Ah, I see. Still convinced I lost one of my students, are we? Well, no one seems to be missing, but someone was definitely down there. I'm sure of it. I admire your conviction, but you should know mer people can be very difficult to engage. They prefer not to get involved in wizard affairs. But this is different. This is life and death. That may be, but how exactly were you expecting to communicate with them? Are you fluent in Mermish? Well, no, but maybe I could learn some Mermish. Just enough to talk to them. Ah. Then I suggest that you do it on your own time in the library. You certainly aren't the first overzealous students I've encountered, and many of them end up in the <laughs> hospital wing. But I understand how words can feel powerless against burning curiosity. Come, let's head to the Black Lake before we both end up late. Okay, she, she says that while she <laughs> goes inside the classroom. Uh, Professor? What creature are we covering today? <laughs> Afraid you'll have to get wet again, Daniel. <laughs> What's this? Daniel Page is afraid of the water. How precious. Leave off, Cassandra. Leave off. Silence. <laughs> today we will be covering a most intriguing creature, the Kelpie. This is yours. It's beautiful. You can see it in uh, the... Fantastic beast movie. Amazing beasts, Kelpies. Beautiful, sleek, fast, and dangerous. Shapeshifters by nature, Kelpies usually take the form of a fishy horse and will gladly offer a ride across the water to weary travelers. Why did my character change hair color? <laughs> ah, Miss Fall. It appears someone is offering you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Really? Oh. To be eaten alive. Okay. Kelpies might seem friendly, but they are in fact rather ill-intentioned. Luckily, the beast can be rendered mostly harmless by using a simple placement charm to attach a bridle. This is not to say one should attempt to ride a Kelpie. Remember, they are wild beasts. Trying to tame one would be a fool's errand. Yeah, well, that's perfect for Newt Scamander. <sighs> Additionally, Kelpies can also detect underwater movement. Careless swimmers often lured by these beasts, dragged to the bottom of the lake, and voracious... 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 Today's lesson yeah. is to observe the Kelpie in its natural habitat, but not to engage unless absolutely necessary. It's interesting how some of the lines are voiced, but not right. the others. Right! Everyone into the water! Time to jump into the water again, Daniel. Or are you gonna skip this time? I'm going to look for the wand I saw last time. If I can find it, maybe people will believe me about the missing person. 
You sure that's a good idea? I have to do something. Besides, you and Ivy will be with me to ward off any hungry Kelpies. Wait, where's Ivy? Mm -mm. She's not coming, so she got a bad headache. Too much butterbeer and sweets, no doubt. Actually, I think she was up late listening to Cal. I think I even heard her singing. <laughs> really? Ugh, I just know he'll be asking me to sing next. <laughs> and I hope I'm there to hear it. Now, come on. I've got a wand to find. Okay. Yes, we... Oh, we're gonna talk to her mm. first. Hope everyone's ready. Now line up for your bobblehead charm. Remember staying the shallow end of the Black Lake. <sighs> Avoid diving too deep as some creatures may not be too friendly towards those who intrude on their territory. Oh god, we're way too close to each other. Find the entrance to the deeper parts of the Black Lake. But you were not supposed to go there. Look at that underwater tree. Well. Oh. Look, a kelpie. Mm-hmm. Hmm, it seems we can, we can return to the entrance we saw earlier from here. Uh, but we've been diving too deep. That's exactly what Professor Brindle Moore said not to do, isn't it? Aww. I'll be back before you know it. Just, just keep an eye on the professor uh, on the professor for me, will you? I don't want to get detention. Hmm. Fine, be careful down there, Timberly. Oh, so I'm going alone then? Oh god, there's the... The, the squid, the octopus. There's Kelpie. Oh, yeah, but it's already following you, girl. So I think it's, you, you're kind of like, yeah, you can't really steer it. What's this? Taking a picture? what I guess we just take a random picture say she is in dark waters ah nice get achievement always nice there it is well, there is a wand at least should be an opening around here yeah, you're definitely not in shallow water anymore. <sighs> oh. If I could just make them understand. Oh. <laughs> now what we what have we here? The teacher's pet are down here looking for who knows what. Did I actually hit him with the spell? What happened there? Uh. Well, your friends want to be able to save you now. Wait, are we gonna battle? Come on. Uh. Oh no, the keeper's still around. This is going to end well, is it? Oh. Yeah, you're definitely gonna draw the kelpie's attention. Shouldn't be doing this. Oh, here it comes. Ooh, that's scary. It's so fast. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's got Fisher. I'd better get Fisher to the hospital. I hope he's all right. Are you even going to be able to gather him? Huh, I guess the Kelpius went into him and then left him. You're taking Fisher to the hospital wing. Fisher is in bed. That's all I had time to read. Never have I seen such reckless, foolhardy, bludger-brained behavior from a student. This underwater obsession of yours has got to stop. But it wasn't my fault. It was an accident. Oh? You accidentally entered into a duel that attracted the attention of a Kelpie? Is that it? Mm, yes. Well, then perhaps detention every night this week will help clarify the situation for you. Yes, Professor. Well, god diddly dame. Well, that could have been worse. How? I've got a week's detention, and Fisher nearly drowned. He'll recover, eventually. Says him right for starting a duel. It was my fault, Professor though. Professor Brindlemore's right. If I hadn't gone searching for the wand, this never would have happened. Yeah, but at least you found it. And that proves 
something. Does it? Everywhere I go, I'm treated like a pariah because of what happened to Fisher. No one cares about the wand. Yeah, all that sympathy for a fray is rather unnerving. I'm sure once he's back to his old, awful self, this will blow over. Maybe. But I still don't know whose wand this is. And you probably never will. Come on, let's go find something to eat. I'm starving. You go ahead. I feel like taking a walk to clear my head. Why do I keep coming back here? If I could just prove what I saw. Planning a midnight swim, are we? Cal! Um, no. I mean, I, I don't know. Just feeling a bit down is all. Sorry to hear that. Ivy told me about your misadventure in the lake. Did you really see someone down there? Yes, well, a hand anyway. Although, I'm beginning to wonder if I might have imagined it. Just because no one else believes you doesn't mean you're wrong. Thanks, I appreciate that. I wish more people were as open-minded as you. I find it helps to have a rather thick skin, at least when it comes to the opinions of others. You're right. Oh, but I did find a wand, although it's probably been at the bottom of the lake for ages. Hmm, seems rather well preserved. I doubt it's been in the water that long. Really? I thought it seemed familiar, but no one at Hogwarts is missing a wand. I could just remember. Why not give your search another go? It's a nice night. Maybe you'll have better luck in the dark. I don't know about huh. that. I mean, I would, but every time I get close to where I saw the hand, the mad people chase me off. <laughs> I might be able to help with that. Are you gonna play music while I search for it? That's very nice of him. <laughs> it's such a weird <laughs> jump in animation. It's fine. Okay, let's search for the entrance to the ruins. There, that must be the entrance, and it's unguarded. Well, it looks like it's gonna suck you in. How are you gonna get out again? should be using Lumos, it's probably super dark down there. Oh. <gasps> oh no! I'm too late! This is one of Callan's gang, the one I fought in the forest. That's why the wand seemed familiar. Oh. Unconscious. She has fangs too. A heartbeat. <laughs> it's glitching in there. That looks awkward. Well, she is conscious. We prepare to risk everything to save a villain who will rescue you if it all goes wrong. Yeah, I wonder that. How did? You... Interesting. How do you use like an? old character or like a already used character for a new event i wonder what kind of part she's gonna play in this uh, story chapter three family heirlooms the villain ki kuai needs your help will you give it or become the, her next victim you dueled her before and survived but the question remains what was she doing at the bottom of the black lake yeah she must have been searching for something but what would be at the bottom of the rack Black Lake. Nice question. I wonder if I can eventually, because I I have been able to. Oh, I need to. Okay. I've been able I can't to. I believe this is the same witch I fought in the forest. Shuren said her name was Key LeBlanc and that she was dangerous. LeBlanc. Still, I hope she's not dead. <sighs> hmm. I'd better check for a heartbeat. Still beating. That's good. I wonder. <gasps> Stay back, vampire! <laughs> Stay back, vampire. There you go. <sighs> well, oh, sorry about that. When I'm weak, my fangs come out. You can put down your wand. Promise I won't bite? Mm -mm. 
I refuse, I don't trust you. Ugh. Suit yourself, been a while since I had a proper meal, nothing but raw fish for days. I hate fish. Alright, this place is way more dangerous than you think. If you want to chat, at least get out of this pitch black water first. I'm sick of the smell of dead fish. Such cool statues. And there she is. Jesus. Casually standing there like this is not even water. We are swimming around. I know she, who you are. She You're stands unbothered. One of Kellen's gang. Ah. I was one of Kellen's gang. Uh, he and I had a bit of falling out after the misunderstanding with the dragon. You mean when you tried to burn down the forest with me in it? Yeah, I didn't record this one. <laughs> Still sore about that, are we? <laughs> Smart, I wouldn't trust me either. But I promise not to harm you. I owe you f for coming to my rescue. I haven't rescued anyone yet. Ah. That's cute, but you are not going to leave me here. You are not that cruel. Maybe not. What were you doing in the Black Lake? Trying to trap the giant squid? Oh. I told you I quit poaching. Too many risks. Not enough reward. I've got a new gig, much more lucrative. I'm a finder of lost items and antiquities. Sounds like a fancy name for a thief. Mm-hmm. Like yourself, or did you already forget about the dragon eggs you stole? That was different! That was an... an ugh. For a righteous cause? Of course it was, and that's all I'm doing as well. You're trying to recover someone's lost treasure. Oh, and I suppose the mer people locked you up for no reason then? Ah. Well, they didn't like me snooping around. I will give you that. But only because they've got something to hide. Not everyone is a criminal like you. <laughs> Look, I know you found my wand. Give it back and I will be on my way. You will never see me again, I promise. Fine, I'll help you. But I'm not giving your wand back. Not yet. <laughs> you might come to regret that decision. There's a lot of water between here and the surface. Come on, I, di I did the most... Oh well. Hmm. I call the shots now. Well, Timberley is bossy for sure. Hey! Why is there like a visible wall? Yeah, no, I don't think anyone has ever said that. Oh, so many people. They all uh, so fancily dressed. Okay, she's just commentating the nature now. Oh, she's gonna talk to him. Do you know each other? Key, you're alive. Did you find it? Cal, you know her? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I haven't been totally forthcoming with you. I hired Ms. LeBlanc to find something for me. Oh. Told you I was looking for someone's treasure, didn't I? She's a criminal, Cal. She tried to kill me. What? Ah. That was a long time ago and I didn't try to kill you, per se. Just yes, used a bit of extreme. Motivation to get you what I want. You nearly burned down the Forbidden Forest. And she's gonna say, ah, that's uh, over-exaggerating. Huh. What can I say? A witch does what she has to. Ugh. Now, if you kindly give me my wand. What are you doing? I paid you to do a job. Yeah, but you can't trust a criminal. <laughs> Not enough for the trouble it's caused me. I'm done. Find it yourself. Did she just take his wand? You said I could trust you, Key. That you wouldn't hurt me. She's gonna say, well, I can hurt him. Because I didn't... I didn't say that ah. to him. <laughs> and I want him, however. Ha. My wand, now. We're just throwing it over. Oh. Thanks. Be seeing you. What about his wand? Did she give it back? I'm sorry. I had no idea what she was capable of. It's alright, Cal. I'm glad you're okay. What was she searching for? A song. A song? What do you mean? Like a, a paper with the song on? Why, why, is, why is Cal in the kitchen? So? You sit down across from Cal and start a conversation. Feeling better? Much. I didn't realize how cold I was until I was out of the water. Now, tell me about this song. 
It's more than a song. It's a family heirloom. A lullaby that's been handed down for generations. Or it was until it was lost. Is it one about right. long cows? No. And how does one that make a Daniels. song? Short answer. We've and the long answer? Okay. There was a memory. A very old one. Of the song being performed for the first time. This is what was passed between the generations. Shared so the song could be learned and played as it was meant to be. Shared? Oh, like in a pensive, right? I've seen a memory like that. Correct. It was given to my granny when she just a girl. Her family didn't have a pensive, so she brought it with her to Hogwarts to experience it. And did she? Yes, but only once. She lost it before learning the song perfectly. Over the years, the memory of it faded. It was only after hearing my voice that she recalled even a little and begged me to find it. Because someone else might know the song, right? That's what I thought. I've spent years searching for it, performing everywhere I went, but also listening. Listening for the fragments I knew. I've heard hundreds of family songs, but never my own. Because that's where I told her to look. My granny didn't lose the memory, you see. It was stolen from her and thrown into the lake by a rival, or so she says. She was reluctant to share the details. But you think it's still there, at the bottom of the lake? If the memory remained sealed in its file, it might still be intact. I never thought I'd get the chance to look for the original. But then I met Key. Who was more than happy to find it, for a price. Hiring her was a mistake. <laughs> I see that now. Maybe if she hadn't made a mess of things, we could have approached the Mer people directly. Wait, you think the Mer people have it? Maybe. I know Granny was quite taken with them. She mentioned they were jealous of her voice, but I suspect it might have been the other way around. I still think you can talk to them. I don't think they know. If they, they were know. there when the file was lost. You worked with her. If they found it. But why does he look evil all of the sudden? Hell, is everything all right? Yeah, what was that what? face? Oh, sorry. I know this all must seem a bit obsessive, but this song is very important to me. I'd do anything to hear it. Just once. Well, perhaps one of the mer people saw something all those years ago. It couldn't have to ask, assuming I can learn how to ask in Marmish. You'll help me then? <laughs> Why even give, find, a, give us up? At least now I know what we're looking for. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Out of curiosity, what am I looking for? Specifically, I mean, what does the memory file look like? Like this one. It's a memory of another family song. I have a few special ones that I've kept over the years. Oh, I suppose that is a good way to remember them. Well, the first thing I need to do is research. Professor Brindamore said there were books that might help. I'll check tomorrow and let you know what I find. Good luck. Okay, head to the library then. What was that? Hmm, let's see. If I were a book about how to talk to mer people, where would I be? Memory spells, mending charms, Merlin. Ah, here we go. Mer people, a comprehensive guide to the language and customs by Dylan Marwood. This looks perfect. Oh dear, this looks complicated. Daniel, what's wrong? Why are you covering your mouth? Daniel, I can't help you if I don't know what the problem is. Put your hands down. Oh, for the love of... Just tell me what's wrong. I think it's some kind of eggs. Help me, please. I can't stop singing. Oh, okay. Why are you singing? It was the phrase. They cursed me. And now I can't stop singing. <laughs> oh, um, that's terrible, isn't it? But also delightful. You have a lovely singing voice, Daniel. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just kind of hilarious, isn't it? I mean, you said you didn't want to sing for Cal, and yet here you are. 
that pain love. Uh, well, Cal isn't he. All right, all right. Why didn't you just use a counter spell? Because it doesn't work if I'm singing. Oh, right. A singing charm, hmm? Maybe just a standard counter spell to reverse it? Well, Finita, maybe? Well, did it work? Say something. I'm afraid to open my mouth. Well, that sounded normal. Hey, it worked! I can talk normal again. Ah, oh, thanks. What a relief. Too bad. I'm sure Ivy would have loved to hear you sing. She did. That's why I came looking for you. Ivy couldn't stop laughing long enough to do the counter spell. Glad I could help. Although, I think you should give it a try if Cal asks you to sing. You're not as bad as you think. Mm -mm. Please, let's not. What are you doing at the library? Mm. I'm looking for books on mer people. A book on mer people? You're not still on about that, are you? I am, but only because I was right. There was someone at the bottom of the lake, and I found them. Share your adventure underwater. Ugh. Come on, man. <laughs> I heard someone making a lo loud noise in the library, even singing. Two of you, if you miss the taste of detention, I'd be happy to su suggest it to you, Dean. Uh... Um, sorry, Miss P Pins. We will be leaving right away. Okay, meet your friends by the Black Lake. There's a lot of going back to the lake. It's understandable. That's what this season event is all about. And the cards that you get from this event is like all sea, sea creature related. And Daniel was freaking spin the wheel and got the... What was it? The owl on the first try. And something else as well. Ah, oh, he's so lucky. So, you think this song memory is still sitting on the bottom of the lake after all these years? Cal thinks so. And if I can learn a few murmish phrases, I'm hoping the mer people will help me find it. Good luck with that. I doubt they'll be in a helpful mood after what you did. You mean freeing key? Hmm. I'll probably have to explain myself, won't I? This is going to be harder than I thought. If anyone yeah, can you're do gonna it, learn you can. Just whole language careful. for this, <laughs> this thing. I will. Believe me, I've had enough underwater excitement already. And not even human language, a freaking animal all this trouble for one language. Song. You sure that's all this is about? It must be about something you else think as Cal well. Is lying to me? No, I didn't say that, but I don't know. It feels like there might be more to the story. Mm, I think the song is just very important to him, Daniel. Music can have a powerful effect on people. How could I forget? My throat is still sore from all that singing. Come on, let's head back. I've got a language to learn. Timberly is so excited for just everything. Something gonna happen. Standing between the boats. It's creeping. Will, it, will the lullaby stay hidden forever? That's the question. Lies and lullabies. A long lost song lies at the bottom of the black lake. Cal is determined to find it, no matter the cost. The map people hold the secret to finding it, if only you can figure out a way to communicate. Woo! Oh god. That's scary. Guess we are attending another class. Ugh, I wonder what horribly damp creature we're gonna have to deal with today. I hope it's the giant squid. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be... thrilling. What's the matter? You didn't go for another late night swim, did you? No, but she probably studied no, the language, no. eh? I was just... I was reading, or trying to. Mermish is a very challenging language. I thought it was just a bunch of squeaks and squeals. It's more than that, Daniel. Or it will be if I ever get it sorted. Good morning, class. I hope you're wide awake, because today's subject is one of the most unruly, uncooperative creatures you'll ever lay eyes on. So, pay attention and do not deviate from my instructions. I don't want any underwater shenanigans. Is that clear? She looks straight at me. Yes, Professor. Good. Now, who 
knows what a dug bog is? Dug bogs? Those things aren't dangerous. Might bite your ankles, but that's about it. I think you'll find, Mr. Page, that the local species are more challenging than the modest-sized specimens found elsewhere in the country. That's a dug bog. It's bloody huge. No, no, that's a tree, right? Precisely why one must approach with great caution. Look like a tree. Or maybe don't approach it at all. Yeah. A wise choice, although not always an option. Years ago, nearly every pond, stream, and mud puddle around Hogwarts was home to one or more of the beasts. Very inconvenient. I bet. In the last hundred years, the local population has decreased considerably, which is why the Hogwarts grounds have become a sanctuary where dug bogs can be kept safely away from poachers and those who might want to harvest their tongues for potion making. Oh yeah, can't make a good focus potion without one of those. Now, chances are you won't encounter a dug bog today, which is why I also want you to look for another curious creature, the Lobolug. The Lobolug. Normally, these are found at the bottom of the North Sea, but there are a few in the Great Lake that can occasionally be found in the shallows. Oh, that's an actual actual animal? I thought it was a device. That doesn't look particularly dangerous. Ah, but looks can be deceiving. There's a reason why the Mer people use lava lugs as weapons. They propel poison from their snouts when threatened. Once again, caution is key in any encounter. Good luck. Thank you very much. Guess it's we're having a little bit of a talk before we go in. We should probably just look for a lobalog, but maybe we will get lucky and find a dog bog. Remember, we're only supposed to stun the dog bog, not hurt it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind if one tries to bite me in half. Well, can one of you let Cal know not to wait for me if something goes wrong? Not that we're likely to find anything. Oh yeah? What do you call that? What do you call that? Well, it's definitely something. Oh god, okay. Really just looks like a freaking tree branch. Is it actually? But it did sink before. Congrats, Daniel. You successfully subdued a log. It's not my fault. I can't think straight on account of this dying headache. A headache? That's strange. Lottie missed class for the same reason. Yeah, and didn't you too, Ivy? It's Kyle's fault. He had us singing songs all night. I knew you'd sing! Yeah, well, someone convinced me my voice wasn't that bad. It was kind of fun. Oh, uh, you... You sung... I'm willingly. Glad. Weird that it gave you a headache, though. The same thing happened to me, remember? It's probably nothing. Just nerves or something like that. But it might be something, though, that he is enchanting you in some kind of way. Oh, God. What is that? Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It might be a lobalog. I will take a closer look. Ah, oh no, it's a Grindelow. Watch out. Yeah, definitely watch out for those. Okay, uh, how am I defeating this? Thunderstorm! Brilliant. More time for preparation. Brilliant. I've got ju just another exam. Atmosphere charm! Atmosphere charm! Yeah, I got this. Just gotta kill the younglings. Incendio. Come on. Give me the Confringo. There we go. Confringo. Good, Hermione. Good finish. Time to meet a cow in the three broomsticks. Saurian late. We had a bit of excitement in defense against the Dark Arts this morning. Oh no. I hope everyone's alright. A few bumps and bruises, but otherwise okay. Just another day at Hogwarts? Well, if you need yeah. more time, I'd <laughs> certainly understand. Hmm. 
No, no. I'm ready to go. In fact, I can already speak Mermish. Really? Well, Let's hear it. No, not really, but I memorized a few phrases that I think will help. Assuming the mer people actually know something about the song. I'm sure they do. Right. Um, let's see. Okay. Are we down now or are we like testing out something? Hold the it and tap. Okay. It'll sound more normal underwater. <laughs> Sounds terrible above the water. I hope so too. Regardless, thank you for your help. It means a lot to me that you'd go to such lengths to help someone you barely know. I'm happy to. Besides, I really want to hear this song of yours. It must be very special. It is. Especially to my granny. Singing it for her would be the best gift I could ever give her. She really doesn't remember any of it. Just a few lines. Moon calves dancing in the field tonight Big eyes glowing in the pale moonlight That's lovely. Ooh, that's enchanting. <laughs> that's a voice. It? It's all I've had to go on for years. We tried to recover Granny's memory of listening to it, but it's lost. If she'd thought to do it sooner. I'm sorry, but... We'll find something. I just know it. Did she come up with the lullaby herself? In that case, I understand why it's so hard to find, but if it's like a classic... We should do it soon while I'm still here. Someone should know it. How about tonight? That soon? Um, alright. I'll have to sneak out, but my friends will cover for me. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Night mission. I don't know how the mer people are going to react to seeing me again, but I'll try to explain as best as I can. Right. I'll follow your lead. Oh, we are going in together? Okay. Ooh! A dive animation for aim, but not for us? Come on. Let me see, let me see my character jump. No, we can't because we need to click ourselves scene. Oh well, it's fine. Totally fine. Jesus, the atmosphere in this uh, in this scene is just amazing. It's so cool. I'm just so happy that I like live in a time where, oh god, there are many. When this game is out. Um, I suppose I should say hello. You can always try. <laughs> She's surprised. Yes, singing witch long ago. We remember. <laughs> yes, that's Carl's granny. Um, she had a memory in a small flask. Um. What? <laughs> That sound. I think he recognizes you, Cal. You must look like your granny. <laughs> he says he saw her in a boat. She had the memory file with her, and she was singing. He heard her. Really? He says she dropped it into the lake on purpose. He tried to give it back, but she wouldn't take it. That's odd. Why wouldn't she take it? Huh. Cal, no! What are you 
doing? What's up? Oh no! How do I say this wasn't my idea in Murmish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're gonna take you. Oh my god. That's not good. Oh, escape from the mer people. Ah! Oh my god. How am I gonna do this? Did, did I get caught? Oh god, I guess I did. Oh god. Okay. I did not have time to read that. I'm gonna die. And I think I have the wrong cards for this. We'll see how this actually goes. Almost, almost defeated. Oh, soon. There we go. But what the heck was that? What, why did he like kidnap, kidnap that mer, merman? Okay, we are up. And why have you brought it here into the land? I can't be good for it. Kel, stop! You're hurting him! Yeah, why? Why are you doing it? Don't you get it? He heard the song! He's got a memory of it! What do you mean? You, I thought you wanted to hear it. That song belongs to me! What? Well, no wonder he freaking... Daniel and Ivy. I don't understand. All these songs. Have you been taking our memories? For what reason, though? For what reason? No. All gave them willingly. I'm not hurting anyone. Except the one to the right there. Like, can you explain yourself, please? I wish the cutscenes were smoother, to say the least. Because now it's a bit awkward. With the silence and the repetitive of animations. But why? I wonder if it has something to do with my emulator or... You don't understand. I've been searching for so long. Yeah, so what? Can you, like, explain better? Can we... I've heard so many songs. But never mine. Okay. So, so I keep some, and revisit them when I'm sad. Understandable. <laughs> it's a comfort, don't you see? They fill a hole. That was a creepy way of saying it. What are you talking about? What hole, Cal? The hole in me! <laughs> that was aggressive. This isn't right, Cal. No, it's mine. If anyone deserves to have this memory, it's me. What? Are you actually gonna execute it? Cal, look at him. Look at what you're doing. This isn't you. Just lay laying there. Could be doing something, fighting back or anything. But I guess he wants. He wants to be peaceful. Please, Cal. Your life isn't defined by this one lost song. Hmm. This finishing There's part so is a bit. More than that. It, it, it is a bit interesting. Oh no, no! What have I become? How many memories have you stolen, Cal? 
I told you. I gave them freely. I merely collected them and kept them. But they're not yours to keep, are they? Not like this. This isn't a collection. This is an obsession. I only wanted what I was owed. My legacy. I know, but you should be focused on your own music, Cal. Your own future. You don't need someone else's song for that. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, the boathouse really looks like a church in the background. I need to let go of the past and focus on the future. My future. <laughs> Timberless is waving at him. You came back. Yeah, why? Oh, to give the vial. Cal, I think it's your granny's file. He kept it. After all these years, I don't... I don't know what to say. After what I did to you, to show such kindness, why? I think he understood, Cal. He kept the file for decades, kept it safe. Until he could return it to its rightful owner, you. I can't believe it's in my hands. I don't... I don't deserve this. You're right, you don't. Not yet. But if you... I will. I promise. I don't suppose you have a pencil in that bag of yours, do you? Oh no, I can't slow down. Sadly, no. My granny has one, but I'd like to watch it alone before bringing it home. There's a pencil in the head, Mistress's office. I don't know. Do you think she'd let me use it? Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Okay, let's go and ask her, I guess. And listen to the final song. I guess this will be the finishing thing to do. I guess we were allowed to do it. Thanks for helping us, Professor Brindamore. You're welcome. Now, I have assured the headmistress that this will mean the end of your underwater adventures. Was I wrong in saying so? Definitely not. I won't even dip a toe into the water, I promise. Definitely not. <laughs> that was Actually, a dramatic... Don't be surprised if you're called upon to engage with the mer people. Thing Despite to certain do. misunderstandings, they seem to tolerate your presence more than most magic folk. Oh, I guess my manish was better than I thought. Quite. Well, then the pensive is yours. I do hope this memory is everything you want it to be. Me too. Ready? After so many years, I can't believe I'm finally going to hear it. What are you waiting for? Pour it in. Oh, I'm so sad that I pressed it two times and it ruins the... But what if I don't like it? What if it's not special at all? Of course, it's going to be special, Cal. It's your family song, and once you've heard it, you can play it and make it your own. Yeah, or just let it be. Just throw the whole violin. Thought we would hear Granny's version, but I guess no. What's this? See this mantle. Nice. That was beautiful, Cal. Thank you. To be honest, I'm still learning how to play it. I'm hoping to do it justice by the time I sing it for Granny Petra. I'm sure she's going to love it. I hope so. I received an owl from her this morning. I told her about the file and the mer person who held on to it, and he was right. She did throw it into the lake all those years ago. But why? Simple. She was afraid she'd never be good enough to sing it. But you said she has a lovely singing voice. She does. But it's not always so easy to believe the best about ourselves, especially when we're young. It's much easier to see or hear everything we're doing wrong. 
so she covered it up by saying the memory had been stolen. Yeah, especially if you're very hard on yourself to succeed and be successful. And you want to be having the courage. Yes, and she was too ashamed to ever admit it. That I understand. I'll do better than that. I'm going to sing it with her to remind Granny how special she is. That's perfect, Cal. After that, I'm going to play it for as many people as possible so it's never lost again. Well, that was interesting. The end. Orvos Lost has now been found. Our most beautiful song has once again been sung. Cat learned a valuable lesson thanks to you and even more amazing. You learned to speak Mermish. A little bit. Bravo. Okay. So that is the end of that season story. Yeah, that was certainly an interesting ending. I did enjoy it uh, throughout the the story and all that. And uh, going into the Black Lake, wow. The design of everything, I loved it. Uh, the, the, the ending was not something I liked. But it's fine. I enjoyed the journey. The destination is not that important. Um, but yes, that's all I gotta say about this season quest. Uh, probably was a super long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you stayed this long, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me uh, or any more of this season quest from Magic Awaken, be sure to subscribe and I hope we see each other in my next video. Bye guys.